here we are uh, outside of Mueller's terminal in the Rob system. Chris uh, has sent us a video of the cockpit aboard the new ship Angelfish. As mentioned a few weeks ago, uh, a terrorist incident occurred in the Imperium so that several terminals and stations were hit. Uh, two weeks ago, two weeks from now, they're still trying to get people off of these large two kilometer diameter stations. This is an example of a Coriolis station, Mueller terminal. And you can see the entire thing is still burning two weeks later. These Coriolis stations were among the first to be made in known space. They're ubiquitous in known space. Uh, and the design is over 250 years old. Now the problem here is that there is no computer assistance for docking. So this is all manual. Something that will be very apparent as time goes on. In order to get into these stations, you go through what is called the mail slot. And you can see that that slot has been significantly damaged. All pilots in the vicinity, be aware of the debris field within the docking bay. Something that Chris said that he really wished he had paid attention to. You can see the interior of the station, traffic around the station, and the interior is burning. Chris put in heat sinks to try to alleviate that. We're set on pad 36. Remain on your current course, Commander. Give the fires a wide berth. And there is pad 36 on the left. Chris starts a landing sequence. Landing gear is deployed. And the approach looks good. And then everything goes to hell. Trying to center on the pad. And something is hit. The ship is hit. The approach is destroyed, and Chris has to try to re-get back onto the pad. Here, he gets stuck on some debris somewhere around and on the pad, and has to completely leave the area in order to try to do another approach. And we're going to try it again. Approach looks good. We're coming in. And this time we're able to make a safe landing. Immediately, the ship is brought to the decks. so that passengers and refugees can be picked up at Mule Terminal. All right, so now we have our passengers and we have to go through and put them into cabins. 
22 people. There we go. They're already complaining. That's what the mission critical message is about. They're in, they're strapped, and now it's time for us to leave. We've been giving clearance. And we are leaving Bay. Almost immediately. They're critical. Drops are out. And we are moving forward. Notice that there is debris floating in the bay. About 106% damage. 106%. When you get a heat sink to kill that, track landing gear and zip out of the mail slot. So we've done this without killing passengers or the ship. Move over to where the rescue ship is, Formula Terminal. Normally we could actually go at the speed it would take us three hours to get there. But uh, just go into hyperspace, get out of the mass of the Coriolis Mueller Terminal, and we'll punch in the hyperdrive. With the frame rate drive, this is literally a 15 minute, 15 second trip. And we jump out. So there is the rescue ship. Carrier class vessel. We'll move forward close enough to contact space control docking. This has all computer system. The Blue Deneb music, by the way, was originally put in the game back in 1988. Originally, Commodore 64. As you can see, the computer does a far better job than Chris. Don't tell him I told you that. We're down. We come into bay. And now our rescue passengers can leave and disembark onto the village. 